Hey, this is Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation. And I'm excited to bring you this little video. This week's camp was a little bit short because we had a daughter graduating from college. And uh, so I had to cut short my camp a little bit to attend the graduation, which of course I was glad to do. In this uh, little clip here, I show how to do a tandem beast setup and utilize our, our uh, PSTL, our 10 by 10 tarp. It's really exciting. Wait till you see how nicely that worked out. You know, I'm always messing around with fire. And in this video, I show how to do something a little different, the bouquet fire lighting method. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Make some comments in the, in the section below. Let me know what you think. Am I stupid? Am I having fun? Or is this cool or what? <laughs> I'll look for you on the next go around. I got a lot of cool videos coming up after this. Well, this is San Pete County. It's sheep country. And they're out here moving the sheep from one place to another. So when this happens, you just got to live with it. Let it happen. Found a new spot here for a little camp. Gonna use the beast on the ground. Got more things to do, more things to show you. Take a look at the potential site here for sleeping. I think we'll just go right back in here. So I'm thinking of uh, setting up the beast right in here. This area is full of uh, thistle. It's not gonna bother the beast any to have that there. I'm gonna throw it down here. I may throw something between a couple trees, a hammock or something just for the heck of it. This is in the middle of bear season up here in the spring when they're out prowling around a little more. Thinking right down in here. It's about a it's about a hundred feet or so away from my sleeping. I think I'll have my campfire right here. And as you can see, there's plenty of dead fall wood in here to burn. <laughs> so I can burn to my heart's content, no problem. I've got two beasts with me today. And uh this one right here is the one I've been, this is the three inch, the, the big boy beast. And then this is the, the three season. So this is two, se <clears throat> two inches thick. This is three inches thick. Other than that, it's all the same. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to mess around here with putting up, laying out two of them, even though there's only one of me. I'm just going to show you something here. So if we look at the ground down in here, we got some rocks. The ground is pretty uneven and bumpy. Then I've even got some dips down in here like this. I'm not going to try to do anything really with it. I'm just going to lay out and do it. You see the, the beast comes with double sided snaps all the way down it. So I can actually, I can actually snap these together so they're attached. So I mean they're not right against each other but you know. We're just looking at being able to hook them together for reasons of putting up a canopy. So this is my uh, tent pole, uh, tent pole adapter set up here. So I've got a, a pocket for the poles to go in. I've got an adjustable ladder lock here, so I can make this as tight or as far out or as close as I need to. And I've got a a snap hook goes on the front and that can click in here or if I want it to go a little narrower like I want to have a profile pretty close here I could snip snap onto this d-ring up here instead but right now I'm gonna to want to go a little wider so I clip it out there and that runs out at about a 45 degree angle okay let's get these tent poles up here Okay, so now come out here. Come 
Come out over here. This is my poncho tent pole, so I'm going to want to pull up on them a little bit here. Give myself a little better elevation. And the nice thing is this is so very adjustable. So now right at this point, you see I'm uh, set up about like this. If I want to go a little higher, which I think I do, I want to get up a little bit more. So I'm going to pull in just a little bit more on these. All right, so set up like this. I have just enough for him to sit up a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I can adjust it up even a little bit more if I want to. I do have a couple options here. I can go, I can go di diagonal to this setup, or I can go square with it. I'm going to try. I'm going to just throw it out square first of all, and see how that looks. I haven't, I haven't even messed with this setup right here. This is the, this is the first time ever. I've messed around with it. So now right here is the center tab on the tarp and a person would want to have that of course over the center. Let's just see how this lays out doing it like this. get it square here. I think that's going to work just fine. If you've already got a PSTL tarp from us, you can see that the PSTL is going to fit, fit up just nicely to this thing. I think what I'll wind up doing is pulling up right here to give me a little vestibule in the front. If I have space in the back, I might pull this forward a little bit more even to give me more of a vestibule. Okay, I got the back end staked out. I'm going to come up here and catch this front end. Get it, get it nailed down here. Now this, this literally gives me a gigantic footprint. <laughs> I'm telling you what. I'm not going to pound that in all the way because I might, I got the back where I want it and I may need to adjust the front a little. So I'm just going to put that right there for now. All right, I'm going to tie a line on here to pull this end up. So this will give me about a two, two feet, maybe two and a half foot vestibule in the front here. And uh, so that'll be really nice. Got a pole back here I'm going to secure this up to. I could put a pole right here, but I wanted to leave this open. So going in and out of here, I don't have a pole in the middle. I could use a couple of shears like this and do the same thing and then not have a pole in the middle as well. But uh, this will work just great, I think. So here I go. I've got a shelter here. For two people, I got two beasts inside, and uh, plenty of room for two people and plenty of extra gear. I've got a vestibule here that is, my beasts start right here. <laughs> so I got a vestibule that long in the front. And this is just done straight up with a PSTL tarp, one of our PSTL tarps, which is a 10 by 10 tarp. I put together two beasts and uh, snapped them together and then I used the uh, tent pole adapters uh, one on or two of them on one beast and then two on the other beast so give me a really nice wide footprint and and then I just strung staked everything down strung this out and I'm pretty good to go now look at the space I got inside of here plenty of room for two people um, and plenty of room on the sides. 
The back I purposely pulled a little closer. I could pull that back a little if I wanted to, but but I wanted to give myself as much vestibule in the front as I could. So I pulled that up, you know, within about six inches of the back there. And, uh, and you know, I'm a, I am good to go here. Now if I use longer tent poles, I could raise this thing up more. I could go, I could go higher and I could have a wider footprint. And I could go out farther. I could have a longer, taller arc. I drew the foot, footprint in a little bit for the poles themselves. Look how much room I have inside of here. I mean, you know, I got, I got room to sit up kind of in the middle. I got space on each side of at least a foot. On each side, I got two, two and a half feet on the front. The beast here is kind of making me violate my own kind of vows here. And that is, that is sleeping in a tent. <laughs> Because this is kind of a tent. I mean, it doesn't have a floor in it. Doesn't have a zippered door in it or anything like that. It doesn't have a door at all. But so it's still a tarp. But by using the uh, tent pole adapters for the beast with some tent poles, I can convert a tarp into almost a tent over top of my beast. And I can hook two beasts together like I did right here. Now you would want to snap them together though so because I've snapped them together down the middle with the snaps that's already there they can't separate any more than they are so that makes it so I can hold this thing together I could put three beasts together if I want or four snap them all together and I don't know do something so there's my there's my two beds inside of here with just the with just the same tent poles that I was using before to cover one, uh, one beast, I snapped two beasts together, put the tent pole adapters on the outsides of the two, and then I spread my poles out wider. So now I created out of the same tent poles, I created a shelter big enough for two people. So you see the versatility of the beast, it fits right into everything we do. Because we try to make everything really, really multi-purpose. And, uh, and as you can see how the beast is being used here, two of them put together in tandem. I mean, think about it. You know, what else can you do? How about if you put a third beast in here, snap it in here for as much as you want, set it up for whatever your conditions are, and you are good to go, man. This is as sweet as it can be awesome I almost wanted to take a nap when I was putting these blankets on here and I I snapped them down one side and uh, that way it kind of it holds them in place so they're not going to come off the beast or you're not going to kick them off but yet you don't have to be like all the way in them like you're in a mummy bag All right, I think we might call this the bouquet flower. The bouquet flower, the bouquet fire. Uh, got a bunch of dead blossom seed heads from last fall. And uh, what I want to do is to, I want to start those on fire. Then I've got some fine little twigs and sticks in here. The idea is for those sticks to get started. And uh, just from that little bouquet thing there. And we can just add stuff to it. And a uh, very simple little method to make a fire. 
and nature's providing it for us from what's left over from last season. Got to be careful not to add some of the stuff's been laying on the ground. That one wasn't because I broke it out of a tree. I don't want to put the fire out while I'm getting it started. Uh, I don't want to get up. Do I have to get up? It's a little bit too comfortable. Uh. Man, what a great night's sleep. This is so darn comfortable. <laughs> I love it. So, you know, I had a lot of fun messing around here with uh, the uh, with the beast, making that shelter out of that matters. I came up with a couple ideas today, <laughs> a couple more. I'm gonna have to do them a different time though because I'm not gonna have time to do all that this go around, but there will be some more videos of some more fun things to do with the beast. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's been a fun little camp, kind of a shorty this time, but, you know, I never turned down an opportunity to camp. Well, I'm glad I discovered this area is open or whatever, and I can, uh, I can come in here and utilize it. <laughs> Up here, you gotta wait till snow's gone, you gotta wait till the ground dries out, because the roads can be muddy and impassable at times. I'm only 20 miles from home to here. It's 20 miles west of my home. And the beast has been hanging in there really nice under that tarp canopy. 10 by 10 tarp, our PSTL in woodland camo. That thing is sweet. I didn't film as much video this time as I usually do. I had some other things I was working on. and I actually did a little hike in here over to Hamburger Lake and um, and checked out another trail above it over there and I didn't even take any camera phone nothing with me I just I just started walking <laughs> I do that sometimes I really love this really love this poncho this hammock right here it's a ultra light but it's I like the feel and the texture it's not as even though it's a sill nylon, it's not as slippery. It's got a little texture to it, it feels like. I really like it, I like the color, and I like that I can have a matching blanket. Yeah, I'm really all about matching, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> but I do like this, though. I'm not, I'm not lying about that. Well, I don't know where this dumb thing camera stopped at, but... I unsnapped my ponchos, unhooked my uh, tent pole straps, fold my other straps underneath there, so now I can start rolling this up. And here's the secret to rolling. Put your knee in the middle to act like a third hand, then just roll. Then use your knee to kind of help roll the middle as you roll the outside. The knee rolls the middle as your hands roll the outside, just like that. It's the easiest way to do it. You just keep on. Rolling her up here. I'm almost to the end. I just grab my strap. Get that even up there. Cinch her down. 
Same thing on the other side. And we are good to go here. There we are.